Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Tarrant, Director of the Neuro Meditation Institute. And today I wanted to share a little bit of the basic functionality of the audio-visual entrainment glasses that we often use in our office. So these are the Spectrum iSet. They're produced by a company called Mind Alive that we've actually been working with for over 20 years. And Mind Alive has a variety of products. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, iSet, the Spectrum iSet, because they just plug directly into your computer. You don't have a, another additional box or any other components. So in this way, uh, for me, they're very convenient, and it's something that uh, we like to share and use with our students. So when you first get the iSet, they're basically just in this little carrying case. Inside, there's two things. There's the glasses, which you'll see there's kind of a reflective layer on the outside. On the inside, it's just this white plastic sheet. You don't really see much. Um, behind the white sheet are four lights on each side of the glasses in kind of a square configuration. And those are what's going to flicker on and off based on which program you use. The other element that's inside the case is a USB cord. So basically, you're just going to plug this into your computer. By the way, you have to use a PC with these glasses. Unfortunately, there's not a software adaptation for Apple products or for Mac computers. So this is a limitation with this particular device. So you plug one end into the computer, the other end plugs into the glasses. There's just a little jack at the bottom in the corner. And then you will open up your software. Now the software is a free download available from the Microsoft App Store. There's actually two different apps that you might consider. One is called David Live. The other one is called David Breathe. We're going to be talking about the David Live software in this little tutorial. So I'm going to open that up on my computer and I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so once you open the software, you see this very simple interface. And the first thing that happens is it indicates your particular set of glasses. So th that's what's being highlighted right here and I have to select them. I'm basically saying, these are the glasses that I wanna use for this program. Now, technically you could have multiple pairs of glasses plugged into the same computer and you could run all of them at the same time. So you have to tell the software which glasses you wanna use. You see here, it says one device selected. Then I'm just gonna to go to the start live session. I've got a firmware update that I need to do, but I'll save that for another time. And now you're into the control panel, which is pretty straightforward. So you could manually pick the frequency that you want to use simply by going to the frequency slide bar at the very top and just moving it, dragging it to the frequency that you want. So right now I've got it at 9.9 .9 Hertz which is in the alpha frequency, kind of right in the middle of the alpha spectrum. So when I choose that and I hold the glasses up, you can see that those lights that we talked about earlier are flickering on and off at 9.9 .9 times per second, cycles per second. So 9.9 .9 flashes induces a 9.9 .9 hertz brainwave. So you can choose the frequency that you want to work with simply by clicking and dragging. Now, there's also a preset over on the side over here. So if you click on the word preset, you'll get this drop down menu of a variety of different protocols that have already been created for you. Now, they start with the very slowest sub delta and then go to the very fastest, which is gamma. So there's gonna be different use cases 
for each of these different frequencies. And some of it is a personal preference. So of course you wanna do your own homework and your own research to explore and understand why you might use certain frequencies instead of another. For example, delta is typically used for sleep. It's the slowest brainwave, it's associated with a deep sleep. So you might use a delta protocol as you're moving toward going to bed at night. Similarly, theta is also a slow brainwave, but it's more associated with a create creative internal state or maybe self-hypnosis work or a deep state of meditation. So you might choose theta when you're working on those types of states of consciousness. The Schumann resonance is also in the theta frequency and can be used for different kinds of meditation or self-healing. Alpha. Alpha is kind of right in the middle of the frequencies and is our dominant rhythm when our eyes are closed and we're relaxing. So this one is usually recommended as a starting place for people if you've never used audio visual entrainment before. The brain tends to like alpha and it's an easy place for it to resonate with because it is its dominant frequency. And then they, you know, get faster. I will point out that like the mood booster protocol, if you look at this, there's actually one frequency on the left side and one frequency on the right. There's two different frequencies. And so some of the protocols are set up like this so that you're actually sending a slower frequency, in this case, to the right hemisphere. So where it says 10.2 hertz left frequency, the left frequency goes to the right brain. The right frequency crosses over and goes to the left brain. So for a mood booster or an ADHD type protocol, you will tend to see this distinction where you're slowing down the right hemisphere, speeding up the left hemisphere. If you look carefully, you might be able to see the difference in the flicker rates between those two. Now, there is audio that accompanies this. I've got the audio off so that you can hear me clearly. It's going to sound kind of like a on and off tone. Do, 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 do. So if you plug headphones in to your computer while you're using this, the frequency of the tones will match the visual on and off of the lights. So now you're getting audio and visual entrainment. You're using two senses at the same frequency. So of course that's gonna be slightly more impactful, uh, but you don't have to use the audio if you don't like the sound. You could just simply listen to a relaxation uh, audio track or a meditation. And then the last thing that we'll discuss right here is the option to change the colors of the lights. So down here, you have drop down menus for the left visual field and the right visual field. And you can either pick the same color or different colors, depending on what you're looking to do. So again, you can see here, I picked green and blue. <clears throat> so one color will be going to one hemisphere. The other color will be going to the other hemisphere. Cooler colors like blues tend to have a more relaxing effect. And brighter colors like reds and yellows tend to have a more stimulating effect. So as you experiment with this more, you can begin to mix and match different colors, different frequencies to find the right combination of things for your specific needs.